Welcome back, everyone. I am back with William Hughes here from Zoge. Uh, he's also known as Classy Zoge, and uh, he's the creator of the project and wanted to have him back on to talk about the vision of these different Zoge clones that are going on. If you're not familiar uh, with Zoge, it is a great meme coin on the XRPL. Uh, started there and is now migrating uh, its way and uh, spreading. It's like I, I, I envision it as like a Zoge werewolf spreading itself and creating other werewolves uh, in other ecosystems is kind of how I've envisioned it in my head. But maybe William will tell him, tell me that I'm wrong and that's not how it's actually working. Uh, but the value is definitely being spread to other blockchains. In this graphic, we have uh, the Stellar uh, blockchain, the Flare network. We have Algorand, which is the first one that we've just migrated to. And I believe that's XDC in the upper right. Is that what that is? And then Corium on the left. So these are, and then three other unknown or I guess unannounced blockchains that they'll have some migrations to. Uh, are they unannounced or are they just unknown yet? A little bit of combination of both, I would say. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't want to give it away or speculate too much, but obviously Corium isn't even ready for us. So that one will come later. Um, thank you very much, JT, for having me. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, JT puts out videos for all kinds of awesome projects. And uh on this chart that you see, yes, some are already planned out. Some are going to remain a mystery and partially because I'm not sure if they're capable of handling us yet and partially they may not even be out yet themselves. We'll have to see, but we have plenty here to chew on in the meantime. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is probably, this is going to take a while because the fastest I perceive us to be able to do a clone over would be you know uh, every couple months or every few months i was gonna say that that yeah the month that we had i was even struggling to make sure i did my due diligence to make sure that i was ready for the algorand clone over and uh hey puppy um but yeah i was I, I got it done i received my my zoge i'm extremely happy and if you have not seen the the algorand zoge video i shot with with william and oscar please go check that out uh, it is Oscar, right? I'm not blanking on his name. Okay, I got yeah, it right. Yeah, Oscar the Maker. <laughs> Oscar the Maker. And uh, he's the one that's created those 3D Zoges and is the creator of some of the NFTs. So go check him out um, in that video and all the Algorand news. But today I wanted to ask you about the vision of why I don't know any other project that's going as cross-chain as this, especially on the XRPL. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, what is the vision and you know, you, you had first you had snacks and then you had paw and now we're just going completely off off the chain off the book here and we're going straight into other people's playgrounds. Um, what, what what's what's the vision right. here? <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. So Zoge itself core XRPL Zoge is mostly deployed. We have a little bit left in the reserves for marketing and a little bit um, left for NFT staking on XRPL. That's roughly 6%. All the rest is deployed to everybody. Snacks is a rewards token for Zoge holders. And the value of that is just completely whatever people feel like it is. And only uh, on the XRPL, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that will be migrating, because um, we, won't, we won't on the side chains, these other ecosystems we go into, we won't be making a paw or a snacks. Okay. So, yeah, it'll be Zoges all, all across these other ones. So Snacks and Paw are special to the XRPL. And they, they play important roles. Um, Snacks helps with the clone over as far as like uh, determining how much somebody should get on the new chain, right? Mm -hmm. And then Paw on chains that require liquidity, Paw steps in because it's a yield farming token and, and helps provide liquidity like Right now, PAW controls close to 70% or so of the Algo Zoge's liquidity pool, so trading can occur. And I know uh, Stellar has liquidity pools too, so PAW will have to play a role in that. That's why PAW had to come out and start supporting that ecosystem and be, and be ready fairly early. 
for all this to, you know, be possible, basically. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought PA was just something really cool. I didn't realize it was so integral to the, uh, to the, to the now Zoj ecosystem. <laughs> right. Well, you, you couldn't really successfully launch and back a token in a liquidity based ecosystem without liquidity. And that's where a lot of tokens uh, don't survive early on in Algorand is because they don't have the financial backing of thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Whereas with with Paw, we've been able to reach in there and assist that to get get the community seated, prove prove the value of it by you know providing capital. So really important um, on Tron networks like that that you know you. You have to put up something or BNB. You have to mm -hmm. put up something for pancake swap, right? Well, you're gonna need it, and you don't dump your brand new token because that destroys it. Um, it just doesn't work, right? If you needed to make money to provide liquidity there, it would be very damaging to the value of that asset if you were just dumping a large amount of that asset to try to get that funding, right? So you need a third party essentially to come in and do it. That's why Pod does what it does. Gotcha. And uh, so the XRPL community is propping up all the other. Uh, I guess it's like the. I can't. It seems more like a vampire now that I'm talking about it because. <laughs> well, it's actually a really symbiotic relationship. It's it's quite nice. So, Paw steps in and helps uh, middleman marketing, right? Okay. Providing liquidity. But PA also makes money off of the transactions and PA brings back wealth to Zoj, Zoj XRPL and the Zoj ecosystem. So overall, both are helping one another. You can't have um, you can't have one without the other, essentially. Gotcha. Really cool. Yeah. Okay. And it's all masterminded really well. Um, and from the last video we did, uh, if you're, I guess you'll see that depending upon when I launched this series of videos, um, the algo video, whether that's going to be the day after this video, I'm not yet certain, uh, but if it's out, go check it out. But in it, you talk about a um, kind of a, a strategy that it's, that occurred to me that it's really, if you're not in Zoj, now would be a really good time to either, the XRPL or Algo or Snacks or all of the above, because you mentioned how once you jump to another um, chain, you'll essentially be airdropping the worth of the token that they currently hold to them on another chain. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's uh, I just coined it as clone overs because it's, it's the closest thing to you have a token here. We're not going to take it from you, but we're going to give you a token there. And there's there's a great reason for this in the understanding of ecosystem growth. We're now inside of uh, Algo. That we have Algo community, people who've never seen XRPL. Some of those Algo people are coming over. And our people are also going over there. But when you start to understand the, the larger cryptocurrency market, per se, you understand that all tokens are riding sine waves. One may moon, one may shrink, but six months later, they could invert, right? Mm -hmm. What this does is this creates access, understanding, capabilities for people to reach these areas. And... A, a lot of the people who are now in algo didn't even know about algo or had any algo but the community worked together to help everybody get wallets to help everybody get enough to start an account and now now they have the the reach their reach is extended so if algo does really well they're going to do really well and overall as we expand into these other um these other good cryptocurrencies because if you really look it's not um there there's no bad cryptos up here they're all top-notch extremely capable um ledgers right these are basically the best in the industry i don't have some in here that some people really like and i also don't have some in here that are in the top 10 and 
people think are really amazing but yeah. these ones there's certain reasons for them and then there's certain reasons for the question marks and we'll be moving through this over the months yeah when it comes to one, the ones you have on here the only tie that i know is that they all have really low transaction fees from my understanding right and and that is a a critical choice as far like the reasoning behind that is we are a planetary entity right mm -hmm. so we have people from all over the world and a transaction fee for me that is three dollars even is something that i'm willing to pay to trade crypto around but i live in the states yeah i have a large community in the philippines we have people in indonesia we have people all over the world and those transaction fees are absolutely unacceptable right so when choosing where we will go and what we're what the intent there is it's always got to be extremely fast extremely cost efficient and only the best in cryptocurrency technology is where we're willing to deploy a, um, a, one of the side chains for the zoge project gotcha well it is it's really cool but ba again back to the time to get in because this is something that i want to be reinforced because people that are new to the zoge community people that may be googling zoge and and find this video uh, hopefully. And uh, if you're new to Zoge, like, share, and subscribe, because <laughs> I do cover it here on the channel. And uh, I guess I am JTXRP, but I should also be JT Algo and Stellar. And, uh, you know, I, I don't just hold XRP. I hold over 40 positions uh, in multiple different currencies. So that's uh, not all about XRP or the XRPL for me, but I'm extremely passionate about the XRPL. And that's where I've chosen to make that community my primary home. Um, but that being said, the cumulative factor of if they get in now and it's only Zoge, you know, on the XRPL and Algo that have been deployed, then they will be, as well as Snacks and Paw, of course, that are on Zoge. But the more they have of these, the more they get on each and every deployment. Is that my understanding? Right. So based on supply and what I have to work with on that uh, newer release, snapshots will be done on the existing the uh, Zoge ecosystem tokens. And then from there, um, there, there will be like with the algo a form for people to, to fill out and it, to give the addresses and do some transactions for verifications. And then as as the time frame for that closes, then the snapshots will be made and, and people will then start to receive on the, the other chain where we're going to mm -hmm. those tokens. But it won't cost them anything of significance because um, the transactions that I require people to do are just for verification. So they're very small, but it proves ownership of accounts, which is absolutely critical. Yep. And then from all of that data, I'm I'm able to combine it all together and get your new address on that new chain and give you your your copies essentially, which is why I call it a clone over your copies of your Zoge or your Zoge values onto that other expansion. And for the project, this is a zero sum. Um, it's a tremendous amount of effort, right? It's a lot of work it takes time it's all of these these uh moving parts and trying not to make any mistakes and just put a lot of work into it but we don't like i'm not getting the tokens i'm making it i'm putting it out there i'm reviewing and working through all the forms and everything to give those tokens to the people and the whole reason behind all of this is it expands our community it expands our ecosystem. It brings people um, from those chains to our chains on the other ones. And then also, we really just do not know in crypto. If anybody truly, truly knew uh, what's going to moon and what's going to do well and where everybody's going to win, then there wouldn't be any millions of people talking about every single thing is going to moon. No, we're we're building a very large ecosystem. We're reaching into as many places as possible, and we're doing it as cost-effectively as possible for our community, 
and those who hold Zoj. If you don't hold Zoj, well, you have the ability to later on, just like any market, purchase these things. But Zoj holders on Algorand and XRPL, they're going to be receiving tokens on these chains. And so long as I can get it done, the forms always, you know, they stipulate nothing is promised to you. If you fill out the forms correctly and you, you meet me halfway, I do a tremendous amount of work to make sure that it goes as smoothly as possible and everybody gets compensated, mm -hmm. taken care of, and then we exist on that other chain and it, mm -hmm. it establishes its own value. Well, a couple of questions because uh, one, I know, I don't know how much work it was for you. I know how much it was for, um, for me in terms of, you know, filling out the form, doing the transactions. That was a little different and new to me for sure uh, to give you what you needed. And I, if that's going to compound, I mean, the rewards compounding, don't get me wrong, is really cool on, uh, but also the work compounding for each and every one of those. Um, I wonder if there is a better way for you to, do, for, for it to be done uh, for both you and the, uh, because that, that just seems like it's going to be a lot more work each every, each and every clone. I mean, am I wrong or is it, am I overthinking it or? Well, I mean, ultimately, if it, if it becomes too burdensome for one person like myself to complete, there are thousands of Zojas out there and mm -hmm. we all just work on stuff and somebody may help me. Like if I had two or three or five other Zojas helping me, it wouldn't be a problem. So no matter what, I mean, we're extremely agile and we make cool things happen because we just, we, we work on it. And whether or not we end up having to dedicate more people to helping me, or we have to um, reduce something somewhere, maybe schluff off the oldest, oldest one or something, we'll figure it out. And I'll be sure to give everybody heads up before, but for the next one, I am planning on doing uh, XRPL Zoge, Snacks, Algorand, and that's going to go into stellar balances for wow. people. So yeah. that's really and cool. I, it just sounds like a, I don't know what you're going to require <laughs> of us. And I just want to be able to make sure I, cause I would love to be able to participate in stellar. Uh, I've enjoyed learning more about Algorand. I feel like that's also, uh, it's been educational for me as you know, I'm obviously JTXRP <laughs> and not JTXR Algorand at this point. Uh, who knows? Things may change, but, um, these are, um, this is really cool to be able to, to pull and learn and grow at the same time, be rewarded for that education. So I really like, I really do love that as well as the, um, the, the tribalism, it kind of gets rid of that to a degree because you're learning about the tech on other chains and, um, you get to foster the community of Zoj within the other communities and bring people together. So I think that is really, really awesome. Well, it, it's a very interesting point that you make because we've got Algorand people coming in to our Discord and being on an even field with the XRP people and talking and learning together about the benefits of each one. And, you know, as we expand, this is basically... Um, the flag of peace between them because Zojas like Zojas and we're working together. <laughs> so as, as we expand into these other ecosystems, we're trying to enter very smoothly with no harm to those ecosystems mm -hmm. and, um, you know, learn from them and also bring what knowledge we have. We learned a tremendous amount from the algo community already. And even some of that information has come in come into projects being started on the XRPL that can affect the, the whole ledger as far as what's, what's possible in the future and currently already being built. And as we continue this journey, we're going to make more friends and a larger ecosystem. And it, it's a little bit of work, but if people aren't up for that, th there's no requirement whatsoever um, for anybody to do it. You just won't get the clone over. It's it's pretty cut and dry. You, it's one of those things you kind of do or you don't. Uh, a lot of people decided that they were going to be passive or sleep on the algo clone over 
then after the form closed and they saw the value that they could have had, then they all wanted to manually yeah. claim it through me for the next week after that. So <laughs> I lost the rest, like all, it, all my hair is gone. I'm done. And uh, it was, it was a very stressful time, but I got through it and I helped them on the next one though. Um, there's going to be a very final timeline for people to either do it or don't. And it's those who want to do it. Awesome. And those who don't, that's cool too. Um, yep. Even if you only want to exist in XRPL Zoge, that's completely, um, you know, within anybody's um, like you're, you're your own boss ultimately. So yeah, this is just to create an opportunity in people's wallet values without them having a, um, a loss for it because the value is created over there, then it's backed up. But um, aside from that, it offers access to areas you haven't been in and just uh, knowledge in the space, what wallet to grab, things like that. And then from there, uh, people will have the opportunity to just kind of be mindful of that space, keep an eye on its value, mm -hmm. and possibly gain in trading and finding other other new projects that they may really like. Um, a lot of people in the community found algo projects through this Zoge clone over that they really took a liking to, and some of them even bought some of them. So, and they're really happy about it. And I, I foresee us continuing continuing to expand is increasing that that pool of knowledge that wealth um that skill set of people to make them extremely resourceful individuals who can take care of themselves and ultimately that's that's where you want to be in crypto is somebody who can interpret crypto as a whole and be able to um i guess do do bigger things in the space. That's that's what people want to do when they trade cryptos. They they want to do bigger things. They want to make money. They want to have a larger portfolio. And a, a great way to do that is to um, expand into more spaces and give people more opportunities. Every great uh, success story came from an opportunity. Yeah. Right? So. Well, I I, I really appreciate you know, the, the vision that you've kind of shared here. Um, one of the things that I, I brought up your website while you were talking, because I wanted to make sure that I, I brought this up to you now that we have, you know, Zoge and we're going to be getting Zoge on multiple um, tracks here. It would be nice to have a Zoge hub, so to speak, of you know, being able to track all the different Zoges. <laughs> right. No, you're totally right. And so Zoge's homepage right now is on its third iteration and its fourth iteration in my very first AMA uh, planned out was uh, to be a few years away and it was going to be an enterprise edition. And uh -huh. that, that enterprise edition should have, you know, much more of the ecosystem fully encompassed in it. Uh, right now, we can find the links for Algorand uh, stuff inside the link tree. So if if you hit my Twitter or you go to the link tree through, yeah, you you'll be able to. So my pinned tweet, so very specific. My pinned tweet has the link tree in it, and there you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find um, the algo links in there as well. And I'm going to continue to segment that out and expand the link tree. Eventually, at some point, Zoge will be to, to the position where the website will be outsourced to a company and fully, uh, fully done up to <laughs> make sure to include all of the chains and all of the awesome stuff uh, going on in each of the ecosystems. Gotcha. So we have the Algo staking, the Algo Zoge swap. Um, and oh my gosh, that's I can't algo swap Zoge liquidity swap on the Algorand Dex for Zoge. I thought you said Algorand didn't have a Dex, so I'm a little confused. Yeah, um, terminology isn't uh one to one, yeah. Okay, that did that link not work? I don't know what just happened there. I was like, well. 
view nothing behind the curtain kind of a moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, if something's broken, I gotta fix it. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, it was this. Oh, and I don't know what it was. I, oh, I just it, it may be because you have because uh, they had the terms and conditions and oh, okay. you had to accept that. Well, it was really quick. Um, either way, uh, your experience may differ, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so I like how you have the chart down here. I was just kind of wanting to see more of, I guess, the the chart for each of how it's going and the price for for each as we move. Because uh, you know, having one place where the whole community goes would be kind of cool. I was just throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a huge learning curve. But we do have the tiny man chart on the link tree and. At this time, the website is XRPL centric, but as the other ecosystems start to come into play more, start to be deployed, because we just have Algo right now, and mm -hmm. though Algo is great, we probably want two or three clone overs done before we enter into the next like re re next phase of the website, should I say? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, I think you answered a lot of my questions about where this is going. And obviously there's a huge incentive to either get on Algorand or get on, you know, the XRPL and either buy some. Uh, I, I think that the main advantage, correct me if I'm wrong, would be the uh, the XRPL because it has snacks and paw on it. And that will be also going into the um, and Algorand just has the NFTs and grant there's a ton of rewards. You should go watch the video. But I'm, my, my gut instincts to my viewers is to tell them to go to the XRPL, obviously, because of like, you know, but mainly because of Paw and Snacks in, in addition to Zoge. Is that right? Or I know you have Taco on Algorand. Are they going to be snapshotting that as well? How's this going to work? Well, Taco isn't ours. Taco is another project that we just kind of have a little partnership with, which okay. is if you hold some of both, you'll get an additional amount of staking but you could but, snapshot it for all i know i mean i'm just saying that like i don't know uh, what your plans are yeah no i'm not gonna do that but okay what i what i will say is that it, it, there isn't an advantage either way and the reason is and like i said there's you said it was masterminded well but here's where you will see another layer of the detail is okay Uj is still being staked out through leo kings on the xrpl it's snacks is going to go on stake X. What, meanwhile, you have Algorand paying out both the Algo faucet, both for the liquidity as well as the NFTs, but also for what you hold in, in Zoge. So both of them have a, about <laughs> an even amount of advantage, but I okay. needed all of these tools to make things um, flow really well okay. and make them even. So this, I yes, take it so. back. I take it back. I was just kind of like, I, that's what I saw on the graph, but you're right. There's more layers than, uh, than what I'm saying. So both are a great opportunity to get in. I just know that you drop snacks randomly to people. So, or at least maybe is that going away? Right. It's pseudo random though, because I told them the criteria. I told them it's random, but I also told them the criteria for it. So okay. it, it's, it is well-contained and barely mathematically arrived on if people are perceptive okay gotcha but it's everything's got to be a little bit crypto-ish because if you here's why and and i really love the transparency guys but i got to tell you why some of the stuff that i do has to be crypto-ish like um when i tell people exactly when a snapshot is they buy the living junk out of it right they, <laughs> they and then the second that that snapshot happens then they try to take profits immediately before anyone else can so i have to i have to dance a little bit on it on stuff that i don't i wouldn't even have thought i needed to um but people some not everybody has the same intent like i'm here for the long run trying to make things awesome for people but some people are passing through and uh hey man they're they will take what they can yeah and we, we just got to be cautious about some stuff so we yeah. want good people in the community we want to help everyone out but at the same time it's like you know if you're just here for not not to be a true zoge then you know yeah so if i was real specific on snacks and how 
exactly when I was going to do stuff for it, then uh, a lot more people would take advantage of it, unfortunately, which would obviously hurt more people. So you have to be really random. Well, is the... not... Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, but not random at the same time, because yeah. things have to be pretty, pretty uh, balanced. Gotcha. Well, uh, if you're new to Zoge, don't uh, forget to go check out some of their games. I have some videos about Zoge Moon Wars and how to get involved there. Um, oh, wait, hold on on that. So you know, so the community knows Zoge Moon Wars, Zoge Tribes is currently down and will be down until Monocle goes up. Oh, OK. Because Monocle needs to take priority over the DB, um, the MySQL database that's running. Okay. then those two can come in after because Monocle is a utility and is more important than the games. Even though the games pay out and people were making, you know, a good amount of Zoge playing them, uh, Monocle is still more important. And while we're on the subject, are they going to get Algo Zoge from playing as well? Or, uh, you know, that's probably not going to happen because those are, those are for the XRPL Zoge and okay. all of the Algo Zoge in existence that was extra went into the focus of the faucet for everybody evenly mm -hmm. and the focus of the nft staking for everybody evenly so gotcha. that that's all pretty much spoken for has a good game plan around it and is now being completely managed by a third party which cool. is the algo faucet okay well i just figured i'd ask but they're still fun to play if you want to go play them <laughs> um yes. And it's still where the community is uh, is at. So um, was there anything else strategic that you wanted to share or? No, no. Some of the, like, you know, it's like one of those things you want to give out some of it, but you can't give out other parts <laughs> of it. So, yep. yeah, I mean, for the most part, I mean, that answers most of everybody's questions, but I don't want anybody to think is Zoge dying or running from X or no, we're doing fantastic. And Overall, we had one of our better pumps doing the algo clone over. So I'm happy about it. And our our price overall is completely good. And it's nice to have expanded into algo and we're making a, a lot more um a lot more community from algo see us and we're seeing more algo opportunity for our mm -hmm. community. And our community is is making money already off of other algo projects, which I found really fascinating. So, hmm. yeah. Well, uh, I just want to uh, last question because I would be asking and thinking it after this video is after Stellar, what's next? Nah, uh, we'll have to see. Okay, uh, dang it, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think it, it starts with an X, but we'll see. Okay. We'll see if it's a question mark X or if it's that top right. Okay. North northeast one. We'll see. All right. Some vagueness, but maybe possibly. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, William. And uh just make sure to stick around if you are a new Zogian or a uh uh an older one, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I don't thanks. know what the word where it would be for <laughs> an older Zoge person. <laughs> <laughs> Like stick around yeah. for uh for more Zoge content and we'll have uh, more for you here shortly. Uh so stick around and thank you again, William, for coming out and telling us the the mastermind uh vision behind uh what we're doing with the clones. So hey, thanks a ton for having me, JT. I um yeah, I, I'm I believe everybody's got their head wrapped around it for the most part. When we did the first part, the algo one, a lot of people were like, but why? But now that we've done it, they're like, oh, that's that's really good, though. So as, as this continues, we will find more tools that Algo will be able to provide to us that Stellar will and we'll be able to provide to them. And and the end equation will be able to tie all these things together in a beautiful bow on top of a package of all your Zojas. And it's going to be pretty impressive sitting there cool yeah. I'm, I'm excited uh well thanks william uh again stay tuned for more i'm jtxrp this is william hughes the creator of zoge and we are out <laughs>